Hey there, welcome back to Poly Academy. Hopefully between our last lesson and now, you've had the chance to check out some of our reminders, maybe you've scheduled a couple of polls and surveys in advance, maybe you've checked out some of our advanced publishing options like sending via direct message. So since you're now an expert on all things survey creation, as well as some of those other features like reminders, scheduling, and publishing, Today we're going to talk about what you can do with a poll or survey once it's been sent. So in Poly 301, we're going to cover editing, resending, and reopening existing polls and surveys. Let's pop over the web app and we'll take a look. Cool. So here we are back in our Poly web app and you can see that we've sent out some polls and surveys. You can tell what my theme is here with all hand surveys. <laughs> um, if we pop into one of these, You'll see that you have a review of your data. Hopefully you get more responses than me. You also have a couple of options up here. If you click these three little dots, we'll pull up all of these options that you can do with this polar survey once it's been sent. So if we wanted to edit it, we would just hit the edit button here. That'll pull up our form again to set this poll up. Now, there are a few things that you can't change once you've already sent a poll or survey. So, you know, you can't change the type to a survey, you can't change the audience, you can't change when it was originally sent since it was already sent out. However, you can update the close date, you can change the reminders. If you wanted to add an additional choice to your question, you can do that. So, amazing, you can do that. You can allow your audience to enable options. So you have a few different things you can do here if you need to edit an existing survey, if you make a typo or whatever makes the most sense to you. Awesome. So that's editing. Now let's go back over here. Let's say that a poll or survey was sent out and it closed and you didn't get the number of responses that you wanted. So not to worry, if we come over here to a closed survey, You can choose those three dots again and you'll see that these are different choices. So if we wanted to reopen it, you would just click that reopen button. You'll be able to update the close date. So let's say we wanted to let people vote for the rest of the week. And then you can just hit save and that will reopen the polls. You can see here by our little tab. Great. Now let's say you wanted to send out the same poll again, like, you know, you wanted to send out how was the interview candidate or whatever makes the most sense for you. Again, hit those three little dots and you get the resend option as well. That'll pull up the creation tab and you can update things if you need to, or you can just send as is just by clicking the send button down here. And you'll see the poll has been created successfully. It will send out shortly. And it actually sends as a different poll or survey. So you'll see here was my original one and here's my new one that I just sent. Awesome. So that's editing, resending, and reopening polls and surveys in Poly. Again, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out, check out our help content, and keep an eye out for next time because we are going to cover the Poly Template Library. So we have a global library of templates that we'll talk through, as well as how to save polls and template polls and surveys that you've created as templates for yourself. Awesome. Keep an eye out next time. Bye.